and welcome to Open Hand Farm. I was just doing some work in the family room and I was washing the slip covers on my couch and remembered how we made the slip covers fit. And I thought you might be interested because no piece of furniture should ever be thrown away if it could be used. And we did a little work to make a couch usable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a picture of what our couch looks like. I wanted a cream color couch and I love it. But let me show you what it looks like when I take the slip covers off. You see the pretty burgundy gold and teal? This was my mother-in-law's couch and it sat in her front living room. And that was the living room that you would sit in on a Sunday to read the newspaper or if you had important company. Otherwise, we sat in the family room. So here was this couch that was like maybe 25 years old, but had been set on a very few number of times. So I obviously didn't want the color. We found perfect slip covers at Ikea, but when we went to put them on, there was a different shape on the back of the couch. So everything fit pretty well on the slip cover, except that this was a different shape. If you looked at the couch originally, it came over and down. It had a very nice corner on it, but that corner was keeping our slip cover from fitting. And you might say, why didn't you just buy a different slip cover? Every other slip cover that would fit Fit the couch that we really liked was like $800. This one was $200. If I got a cheaper slip cover that would fit, it was one of those that was like stretchy material and you just stretch it over the couch. And that was not the look I was going for. So let me show you how we did this. We opened up the corner of the couch. We carefully picked the staples out and opened the fabric. We saw that we could indeed go ahead and cut the wood of the corner. So Mark got out the sawzall and he started cutting. I said, what's, what's gonna happen if it doesn't fit? Then I guess we just throw it all back together. So he cut the corner off and then I came in with some extra batting to kind of fill in the shape that we wanted. And then I just pulled the fabric together, kind of folded under itself so that it fits snugly on the corner. And I stitched it together. This is where the back board basically of the couch was. So that had to be stapled back over this. So we folded the fabric over, around this edge and I sewed it together underneath and then we just stapled this down. You can also see that we had to cut the extra fabric that was hanging down on the couch here in the front because it was showing from under the slip cover because it is a little snug on these corners here but it works and I don't mind it. So I'm going to put the slip cover back on and you can see how it fits. I didn't wash the back cushions because they usually have a blanket laying over them and they really weren't that dirty, but the rest of it needed to be washed. Now these cushions all had this fabric on it and I just took the cushion covers off. I need to do the arms first. I know that much. I don't know that I have wash this, but maybe one other time. So I'm hoping it didn't draw up on me, but it'll stretch its fabric. Now this one, it's gonna be a little harder because it's kind of like that last corner, putting the sheet on the bed. <laughs> you gotta really give it a go. I guess we could have cut it a little smaller. So now this needs to be kind of adjusted a little bit. This corner is definitely tighter 
than that other corner. So I'm going to pull and try to get me some slack here. Now I know that this will uh, loosen up as it's set on, and then I can just kind of straighten out the arms. But you can see that one is fit nicely. Now we'll put all of our cushions on. When I wash these, I zip them up so they don't get all twisted inside out and everything. And these are very snug. But it beat getting slip covers that I didn't like or getting rid of a perfectly good couch. It's my workout for the day. All right. So there's one. And I'll just put these on the same way I did that way. I got those on. Now we're going to put the back cushions back on. So there we are. Nice, clean couch. I also washed the cover that I made for our recliner. And it's about time to make another one of these. It's getting pretty worn out. And I would like to make a few little adjustments. But all in all, I feel really good about my clean couch.